Howdy folks, got a quick, quick clean water instruction video for your ozone generator for the tubing connections. Uh, you're going to have your two air dryer, your two part air dryer assembly. Uh, but the white beads are in the first one, blue beads are in the second one. The blue beads has the flow arrow and you want it basically pointing toward the machine uh, as far as that goes. The white one, there's caps on one end and then so you can orient them both and then there's clips that go on. Uh, there's the uh, barb fittings, there's the barb fittings that you're going to have and the tubing. Uh, the half inch braided poly and the tubing the tubing gets over there you want to be aware you can heat the tubing up with an air dryer or stick it in a cup of hot water it loosens the tubing up it makes it an awful lot easier to push the tubing onto the barbs uh, I push these two on here for this short run. I actually used my shop vise and got them started and then took the length down and put it in the vise and cranked it and slowly cranked the vise closed and that worked really easy. And then everywhere where you have the tubing connections, you're going to seal them with, uh, a, a, with a zip tie. The whole thing does not operate under very much pressure, only 510 PSI when it's running. So it's not a lot of pressure. So zip ties is what we're using. So at any rate, you have the compressor air out on the bottom tube. So the bottom tubing is going to get uh, zip tied right there and it's going to come over to the inlet. Of course, you might have yours likely you'll have it hanging on the wall or you'll have it oriented anyway. This is just the mock up. And so you've got your your you've got your air out on the bottom fitting and that's going over through the white beads, through the blue beads. And then I've got this whole wrap of tubing I didn't want to cut and then it's going up into the oxygen in. So then this is feeding the oxygen and you would either here have your air dryer or an oxygen concentrator as far as that goes. So that's how you make that first connection. You're going to slip the tubing over the, over the, uh, over the barb fittings, uh, get the tubing warm and push them together. It is kind of a, you know, you got to work with that and then zip tie them closed. And then once you've done those on the uh, diffuser stone, you've got a half inch female fitting that screws onto the male fitting that's embedded in the infuser, the diffuser stone. And then you have got a compression fitting here for this tubing right here that matches that fitting. And then this piece right here, this short piece right here, which is fitted over here and then is going to be zip tied onto that. This piece originally was over here, just going in and out. So that's what you get when you open the thing up and you're going to take this out and you're going to put it on that and zip tie it. And then this is your piece. This is the ozone out nipple. That's, that's the, oh, that's the whole point of the operation. And that one slides on there real easy and you zip tie it. So you have your air coming out of the machine, going through your air dryer, going back into the machine, and then you have your ozone out. And then you have all of your barbed connections which plumb into the plastic cartridge assemblies. One, two, three, four, and you get your braided pipe on and you attach like I show here. You've got your zip ties on each one, two, three, four connections, and then five, six, seven, eight. So you'll have eight zip ties and eight zip tie connections, and you've got your coupler over there for that. And that is how you hook the thing up. Remember the last thing, like I said, low pressure. You can't hang this thing 20 feet down into the tank. It can only go three or four feet down into the tank and diffuse from there because that's all the compressor motor can push. The further drop you the further that you would drop it down, the greater pressure that it would have until it would overcome the compressor's ability to push air out. Thanks, folks.